Hey guys, Delcy here, and today I'm going to bring you a tutorial on how to install mods into Minecraft. Uh, I'm going to be using the Mo Creatures mod as my example because it actually it has lots of the different aspects of the different ways to install mods. And so uh, it's a really good mod to sort of teach people on how to install mods. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is you want to get a clean version of Minecraft. Uh, if you already have a Minecraft file, .jar, that has mods in it, you might want to back it up. Uh, depending on if you want to keep your mods and so uh, the best way to get a clean version of the minecraft.jar is to go into minecraft hit options hit force update done and then log in and what this will do is this will install a new version of minecraft into your .minecraft file folder and uh, it's it's the most quickest and the most easiest way you can do it so uh, we'll let that download my internet speed is very slow today I don't know why uh, done. Awesome. We can now shut down Minecraft. Uh, once you've shut down Minecraft, you then want to go into your browser. Uh, then you want to search for whatever mod you're going to install. So we're going to install Mo Creatures. Boom. Search for that. Uh, so hopefully Google will search for it because Google is amazing. No. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So here is Mo Creatures. Top search on the Google search. That's brilliant. Search, search, search. Uh, so this will then load up. And uh, Mo Creatures is a mod that requires other mods. So uh, Mo Creatures requires three mods for it to work. You need uh, you need the Mo Creatures mod, and then you need uh, mod loader, an audio mod, and the GUI API mod. And so if we go to those pages and we start looking at the Mo Creatures mod, we can start downloading these mods. And so a lot of these uh, these mods will uh, send you to an ad fly link first because a lot of them like to make a bit of ad revenue and uh, who wants to blame them they're making awesome mods and all for free so uh, we can start downloading the mo creatures mod boom uh, we can go down here and we can start downloading the where is it mod loader and audio mod down here and uh, if we go down here we can start downloading the GUI API mod boom we we'll have to wait for this advert hooray any time now. Two, one, zero. Blast off. Awesome. Okay, so uh, all the mods are now downloaded. I should have kept that open, but I didn't. So uh, if you go into your user and your downloads file folder or wherever your mods download to, you'll find them all here. Uh, now you want to get to your Minecraft folder or your dot Minecraft for PC. So the way you do this if you're a Mac user is you go to your Macintosh HD then you go to your library and then application support and then Minecraft. Uh, if you're a PC user it's a bit easier you just hit the Windows key and the R key and uh, you click OK and uh, it'll bring you to your .minecraft folder up here and uh, you'll see everything is here so you then double click on bin right click now you need a, you need an archiving program for this I'm, I should add uh, the best one I find is WinRAR iCover and they've got a beta for Mac which works and they've got a, uh, a version for PC so uh, that's brilliant so if you right click on your Minecraft and then click open with and your WinRAR archiver uh, it will open up the dot jar and so we'll just hit back there alright so this is your dot jar. Now the first thing you always want to do when uh, installing mods is to delete the meta inf folder. Uh, the meta inf folder is what is basically makes playing in a browser possible. Uh, but a lot of people like to play in the client and so we don't really need that folder. But uh, we do need to delete it if we want to have mods. Uh, once that's deleted you want to then open up your mods. So we go to mod loader and just wait for this thing to pop up. Okay, so uh, you'll see in here is a lot of class files is what they're called. Uh, and what you want to do is you just want to scroll down here so you're not hovering over any folders. And uh, you just want to copy all these class folders. Just select them all and drag them into your .jar. Hit OK and uh, that will put them into the .jar. And so then we want to repeat the process. So uh, we'll go to audio mod, do that one next. Uh, now, audio mod has a couple of folders that you want to put in, but uh, same thing, just drag, oops, just drag, and drop into your dot jar. Awesome. And then, uh, same thing once again, you want to go to your GUI API. Now, uh, this is a bit much bigger, 
much bigger mod than the rest of them in Sewer. It sometimes takes some time, I find. So we chuck that into the Minecraft.jar. And uh, while we're waiting for that to go in, because uh, it, it seems to take a while for myself, it may go instantly for you, depending on how fast your PC is, uh, we want to then go into the Dr. Zark's Mo Creatures mod. Now, uh, this one's a bit different. Uh, what you want to do is you want to open up your dot .minecraft or just your Minecraft if you're a Mac user and uh, you want to make a mods folder. So if, if you don't already have one, you want to make one or you can just drag this in. Uh, so we'll just drag that in. Boom. And uh, that will chuck that in. And what that has in it is this, uh, this zip mode creatures and mod loader will basically find that and find the mod in it. So uh, that's pretty clever. Uh, also, you want to then go into your resources and uh, you want to chuck your mod in. So we'll chuck mod in. Now, if you already have mods installed, you'll find that our mods like uh, More Creeps and Weirdos, they will also require this method. And so you, if you already have a mods folder, you just want to open it and uh, open the mods folder here and just chuck that in. Uh, same with if you have already got one of these mod folders in your resources, you want to go down the different paths and uh, until you find something that's similar and uh, chuck the mod in s separately just because you don't want to replace stuff. Uh, but now that's all updated and so we can then jump into Minecraft wait for that to load. Now the first time you load up all these mods it may take a little while um, after you log in because mod loader sometimes just takes a while to find everything and uh, to sort of activate it I guess is what it's doing. It's finding the different files and uh, working out the mods and stuff like that. So uh, Minecraft sometimes takes a little while to launch and then it takes a bit uh, longer to load from the login screen to the Mojang screen. Uh, but that's no problem because uh, once it's been done once it seems to get a lot faster. So it's like a once off thing. So we just log in and you'll see black screen for a little while, black screen and then Mojang. Uh, if you get a black screen after uh, you don't get the Mojang screen then that means you've installed something wrong and you're going to have to go back and do it again. Alright, so we go into single player and we're just going to create a new world. We're going to call it test and we'll create a new world. And we just want to look out to see if any of the mode creatures are in our world. Uh, something that you may notice is that there's no sound when you first uh, start up Minecraft after installing these mods. That's no problem because it kicks in uh, quite quickly. So uh, no biggie that one. And so uh, it's going to take a little while to build the terrain. It's going to assimilate the world for us. And here we go. We're in a new world. Uh, a bit laggy, no problem, we'll just toggle the fog. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> it's All my controls have changed. Oh well. Uh, we got sound, and look, straight away we got some bunny rabbits and some cheetahs. So uh, we know the mod... Oh, that's not a bunny rabbit. Oh, what's that over there? Got some birds up here. So uh, straight away you can see the mod has installed properly. Uh, we can't actually hear the creature's noises yet. Don't worry about that. That will kick in. There we go kicked in straight away. Awesome. And uh, that's how you install mods. So uh, some mods may be a bit different, but that is basically the basic procedure of manually installing mods into Minecraft. So uh, I hope this tutorial has helped you, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.